What's up YouTube and welcome back to some more Halo the Master Chief Collection. This is another achievement slash collectibles guide. This is the Toy Box Guide, which requires us to get all of the hidden toys. There are six in total. The first one we're going to be getting is the Master Chief toy, which is here on Delta Halo. Like the skulls, we're going to get an achievement for each toy that we get, as well as one for getting all all of them. So right here on Delta Halo what we're going to do is get to the point where you have to extend the bridge and you're going to want to take a ghost yeah it's a ghost right the banshees are the other ones that fly up in the air and the phantoms are the big transport ships but you're going to just kind of go up against this mountain and as you can see I'm in the old graphics and the reason for that, almost lose it here, I was lucky not to die. The reason for that is it's easier to see where you're going in the old graphics compared to the new graphics. However, in order to pick up the toy, you will need to be in the new graphics. As you can see, it's not there, and then it is once I actually switch over to the graphics. So there's our Master Chief toy. That is the first one. I should also mention that I'm doing this on easy with Sputnik Skull and the Scarab Skull. Our next one is on the mission Regret, and it's the Regret toy. So this is from the start. You'll start in this room, and you're going to have to kill some elites and some other guys that come in here. And then you're going to head out here, and from this point, the Sputnik Skull is going to come in handy, because we're going to be doing some grenade jumping. First one is right there, and you're going to land on this little brown ledge right here. We're going to do a second grenade jump once our shields come back. And we should land right over here. Now it's time to do our third grenade jump up to the second floor of this building. Now you don't have to come to this building so you can easily and completely miss this one. But there he is right there hanging out all cute and cuddly. And we'll pick him up and get yet another achievement after we teabag for a little bit of course. Next, you're going to want to load up Sacred Icon, and we're going to be going for the Arbor Toy. So you're going to come into this room with the green beam going across, and you're going to want to grenade jump up to this platform. Now, it's going to be in the third alcove, these little areas. I'm going to check all of them because I wasn't 100% sure as to which one it was in, and they're pretty dark, so you can't necessarily see too well. I'm going to kill off the enemy, make sure no more of them spawn, and there it is right there. I know you can barely see it, so... I'll throw a grenade as well just to kind of give a little bit of an idea since the plasma grenades do have some nice lighting effects. It's right there. You're just going to jump in and grab it and you'll get another 5 gamer score and another achievement. Next we're going to load up Quarantine Zone and we're going to be going for the Tartarus toy which is the brute kind of boss that you have to fight at one point in this game. Uh, no spoilers. <laughs> and we're going to be heading across on this kind of gondola type thing. It's a little bit far into the mission. And we're going to come out to here and it's going to give us one of those that old familiar feeling like subtitle type things. And we're going to grenade jump from here onto this little rooftop building thing. And he's right there. Pretty easy one to get. You just got to play a little bit into the mission though. Unlike all the other ones that were pretty quick. This one takes a little bit of mission playing, and I'm going to kill my teammates now. Next, we're going to load up Gravemind, and we're going to be going for the Cortana toy. So right here, we're just getting into this area. This is going to be the same area where the skull is located for this level. And we're going to head to the right and climb up this rock formation. It's not really that difficult. You should be able to pretty much walk up most of it. Come over here, and there's going to be an enemy all the way down at the end here which I will kill right there. And the skull is in that little purple circle thing. However, right here is the toy itself, and that is the Cortana toy, and yet another achievement and another 5G. Moving on to Uprising, we're going to be going for the Librarian toy. This one isn't too far in, however, at least the start of it isn't, because you're going to be doing some interesting jumping and almost like out-of-the-map type stuff like how we rode the ghost up the side of the mountain earlier in the first toy. This one's kind of similar to that. So as you can see here, I'm sticking to the right side and jumping over these rocks. And we're going to have to do another grenade jump over here. I'm just checking the graphics. And yeah, the old graphics are still pretty much better than the new ones for doing this kind of stuff. 
and we're going to get up here and from here just follow where I go because this is at about 400 times speed it takes a while to get over here so just make your way around be careful on this jump that jumps a little bit of a bitch but outside of that everything else is pretty simple just be careful I got a little bit lost here but we're good keep on going all the way down you're pretty much going to get through most of this mission by doing this that's why i was saying it's not far into the mission however it will push you far through the mission and right there we can see our beautiful librarian toy all cute and cuddly and we'll pick it up get another 5g and be that much closer to being done with these collectibles next up is high charity and we're going to be going for the rampant Cortana toy I was listening to uh, Mr. Regret talk for a second there. Sorry, the prophet had my attention more than the video for some reason. I do apologize. But you're going to see this little rock formation here, and she's going to be on the top of this rock formation. I'm having a little bit of an issue getting up it, but you should find an easy way to do it. If you can't, just use a grenade jump. It's probably not that bad to get up here, but there we go, right up there. Head up here, up there's some enemies shooting at me, so let me just kill them real quick. He's shooting rockets at me, my god. They really don't like me. But it's right there, nice and easy, another easy 5G, and we are just one more away from being complete with these collectibles. This final one is a doozy, so strap in, we're going to load up, I think it's the Great Journey? It's the last mission, and we're going to be sure to take this specter and just gun it go all the way through this area i'm playing on easy so the enemies barely even hurt me as is and we're going to hide it over here by these trees and i'll explain why in a little bit but just do that for me hide them over here and then continue the mission like you normally would going through the building killing off all the enemies and so on until you get to the cutscene where you're with the scarab once the cutscene ends, you're going to be on this platform and you're going to want to follow the path that I just took because if you don't, you will load a checkpoint and the specter will despawn. So if you keep to the right and just grab the specter, now you're going to gun it all the way down here, hop down here, and now is the interesting part because we're going to drive straight through the ocean. Fuck it, right? Who cares? going to keep on going and I'm going to have a little bit of difficulty getting up this little lip here, but finally get up it. And now we're going to climb up the mountain that is behind this building. It's going to be a long, long struggle, but we should be pretty good. Just keep on going. It's easier if you do it in the old graphics, as I'm showing here, compared to the new graphics once more. However, if you're in the new graphics, I mean, if you're in the old graphics, rather, you can't see the toy. But here it is, our last toy. It is the Didact toy, and that will be... Our final two achievements, one for getting the Didact toy specifically, and one for getting all the toys. That would be our toy box achievement for 20G. So along with the other eight achievements, we got this one, toy box for collecting all eight Halo toys. I hope this video helped you, and I hope you enjoyed it. If it did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, all that fun junk. Check down in the description for some awesome links, some awesome things, my Twitter, Facebook, donation page bunch of other things you might be interested in. Thank you for joining me. Keep it here for more Halo Master Chief Collection and a bunch of other things. Until tomorrow, ta -ra.